What are you doing down here, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Just having a little snoop about. So I managed to get the lights on quickly. Indeed. Um, they're not all working. No. We've never seen it lit up though, have we? No, we haven't. Here? We haven't. Let me come around and see you, yeah, mate. Sure. There we go. It's very interesting to see the, the structure underneath. We've yeah. Seen it from above. Yeah, we have. But not down below. Well constructed. It is, yeah. It's been uh, reinforced over the over the time with extra piers. It and has. Someone's added some concrete piers and joists. Really thick joists. Yeah, just Doubled to up, bolted together. Support the floor above. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're a funny shape. It looks yeah. like maybe you could put bodies in it, but it wouldn't well, have been for that. It did cross me mind if I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that. It's, that's a beast. That is, it's literally like a tree. Yeah, it's where the two huge great beams join. Yeah. And they've just sort of strengthened it up. There's a chain and some rope. We get Ryan in that way. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, isn't it's it? It's all looking good so far. Look at the huge beams that are just resting on the floor there, Sean, look. Yeah. Those two. Ooh, yeah. They're massive, aren't they? Old slabs. I suppose initially they cut up what they needed, brought down, and there were some extras left mm. over. Yeah, so that's a storm drain okay. made out of our favourite material, asbestos. Yeah, but be touching that, it's fine as long as it's not disturbed. Exactly, and they've even run a drain into it. But this other one, the plastic one above it, is actual um, sewage. So okay. it's in quite a handy position if we're going to add more bathrooms definitely yeah i mean we've got good ventilation down here exactly as well, yeah important. yeah there's a lot of um um i don't know if you can see that everyone little vents air vents yeah that dries it all out down here so yeah reduces the uh, risk of rot this is what i had the plumber install oh, a nice. pressure reducing valve yeah he said it was too powerful the, the town water mm. so we had to bring it down a bit he said because it will blow up things he said yeah breaks the seals on breaks the, the seals on the water tanks and things okay so the boiler system was quite interesting in this place these were hot um warm water or hot water storage tanks yes. so the boiler had a coil well there's a coil inside of them yeah. and as the hot water passed through those it would warm these up for the hot water nice and jackets on them. yeah and they're pressurized by the mains cold water to push it around the building. Yeah, I'll tell you what, adding some of those looks a little bit, well, it's not really doing anything. The beam that's there, that it's above, is in good condition. Well, unless you step this side. All right, okay. That was their concern. Okay, a bit of woodworm. One and that one. Yeah. But, I mean, you're fine on these, woodworm only goes in sort of yeah. five, 10 mil, half Surface, inch. we call it. Yeah. Yeah. Character. 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 So yeah, all chestnut down here still. Yep, these are all Bones. lagged in um, fiberglass insulation. There was no concern down here from the uh, from the man who inspected it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but these are all leaking and they all need removing. There's another vent up there. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess down here. I mean, we could tidy it up one day. Yeah, um, let me know and I'll have the day off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is for barrels, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Store them sort of that way, yeah. Or that way, either way. I'll tell you what, it's better down here now the lights work. Definitely, it was much more, yeah, eerie down here. It's not there, is it? No, it's little squirrels forgot his walnut down there, yeah. <laughs> Co hangers, right, after you, Billy. No, after you, <laughs> mate. This is the this is the boiler room. All oh, right, I like to Access? Yep, to the garden. Brilliant. This well, is this all. Is pretty good order, isn't it? It's all redundant now, though. Yeah. Um, it just worked off um, oil, essentially, red diesel, mm. cherry age. Mm. And there's a tank outside under the ground. Oh, right, yeah, I know where we are now. Yeah. And it used to run that. I don't know how many thousands of litres it took, but. Would you like to explain to everyone what this is? Yeah, so essentially if there is flames, it melts the pin and it drops the pin there and releases the entire extinguisher yeah. through the nozzle. Very so good. they normally put them on the front of the where the burner is, yeah. but also where the chimney flue exits. 
So if there's a fire and nobody's down here, yeah. it should suppress itself. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice to see it all lit up. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. And then obviously the uh, stormwater drain comes through here as well and out into the garden. There's probably a tank somewhere in the back garden, like a soak away or something. Yeah. That would have watered all the veg out there. Yeah, <laughs> look how thick this interior wall is. Yeah. It's absolutely just, well, it's mad to see. It's what, one metre 30, one metre 20 wide? Yeah, at least. In thickness? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's well constructed, this place. Better yeah, than a lot of shadows I've seen it. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, it's pretty crazy it's pretty to see impressive. how thick that wall is. Good stone steps up there. Yep. Yeah. Must have been a lot smaller back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> right, take it to the wine cellar. It's empty now, though, Sean, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So I think the light works in there. Let me turn it on. Uh, is it that one? No, that one. There we go. Oh, yeah. God, look at the thickness of the yeah. in here. Lovely bit of oak, isn't it? Beautiful. We could use that somewhere. Yeah, definitely. We use that. Hmm. Upcycling. The width of the bulge you don't see on that wide anymore. No. Lovely. Yep. And then you've got another section here. Through there, mate. Okay. Ah, yeah. That's where they've had their wines. Yep. The bottles are red on their side. It's unusual, isn't it? I wonder where that goes. Mm -hmm. Little hole down there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. ah, very interesting. Yeah. Yes. Slowly revealing all of its oh, more shelving. Yeah, wow, there's some big planks there. Yeah. Well, they're really thick oak, aren't they? Wow, they're nice. amazing. Nice table out of that. So there's another vent there. And then another vent here that's blocked up, Sean. That needs cleaning out, doesn't it, that yeah. one? Yeah. Let it breathe down here a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very interesting. Mm. That's it, mate. There's a. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's an old fridge in the floor. All right. If you lift up the the flaps. Oh. All right. Yeah, the doors had it. God. Ah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely an old fridge or something. I thought it? so. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they were zinc lined. Yeah. Lead. Mm. Obviously, there's plenty of wine to be stored. Look, yeah. there's another cage here. I think we should repurpose that at some point. It's quite an old one, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, that is unusual. Now, I've seen lots of these, but never with this guard on the front. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Mm. Under lock and key. Yeah, absolutely. That is a real find, that really. Yeah. I've got a, a smaller version of this and I've used it in my boot room mm. to pull my shoes in. We could even, oh, I know, there's a few rusty pieces on it, but we could have that recommissioned, I think. We could have it shop blasted. Shop blasted, yeah, that's we a good idea. Blast, yeah, we do. We've got one coming soon. That'd look quite nice in the kitchen, wouldn't it? Because it's quite big. Yeah. We could keep all the wine away from <laughs> you've the even, you've even found the padlock, haven't you, mate? We've probably got the key for that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I'll tell you what, that's a real nice find, Dad. Mm. What's the one in here like? Not the same, is it? No. No, no, that doesn't have that doesn't have doors on. No, this was for their prized yeah, wines. Possibly. Bordeaux. Also this one as well. Look, the key's still on this door. Oh yeah. But it still works. Does it still work? Oh it, it does. Works, wow. The last time that was, that was the, used. Yeah. What does it say on the little uh, wooden thing? The tag. Uh it I can't quite make it out. Something on there. Yeah. Leave the wine alone. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, come on then, let's get out of here. Yeah.
Look what's arrived, Sean. Yeah, the LG air conditioning system. Yeah, so this is the big compressor that goes outside and we've got two of these interior units. Right. So if we have a quick peek. Yeah. Yeah. And I understand this is a little bit special, this one. Yeah, so these ones um, have a UV light, that clean bacteria in the air apparently, and yeah. they've also got an, a deionizer or de something like that. Yeah. We used to have them back in the day. Yeah. The rooms, it sort of clean, cleaned and purified the air. Yeah, exactly. And um, it's also got like a pollen filter on top as well. That can be cleaned. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to have two of these in the kitchen. Okay. And we've got the mounting brackets for them now. Yep. Just waiting for Duncan to come in on Monday to put in the electrical feed to the compressor outside. And yep. then as soon as that's done, we've got to put up two pieces of plasterboard. Yeah. So that these can be, these. yep, to mount okay. those. And the man, the, air, I don't know, air conditioning technician will engineer. come, engineer will come and install them. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty good. I'm glad they arrived because I actually ordered these months ago mm. and the company wouldn't ship them until I found, or they found, someone to install them. Oh, right, okay. There's a decree in France meaning that you cannot handle these unless you have a certificate. However, they arrived, I put them on the back of the van. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm handling it now, aren't I? Yeah. to the end of the actual setting out of the framework yeah i can see it looks absolutely fantastic and straight and square and yeah we've squared the room off mm -hmm. leveled it all up yeah still a little bit more work to do the noggings and the fixings to the wall yeah that would add, that would add a lot of strength all the fixings and oh, the, yeah yeah everything yeah absolutely solid then and we're going to be adding um, all the plasterboard ver um, horizontal aren't we yeah. yeah and that'll give it strength as well the bond as well so yeah it's all going to be plaster, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Duncan is starting all the electrics on Monday. Okay, yeah. So he's going to come and run all the cabling. Yep. Literally, what I've said is um, three different circuits for lighting. Okay. Because at some point there may be a down light in the center of the room. Yep. Um, there will be wall lights and another circuit, maybe for some spotlights just for the ceiling. Yeah. I'm not sure yet how we're going to do it. But I think some spotlights would be quite nice just to give the ceiling sort of a glow yeah, as such. Yeah. Not to light it up too much. Different ambience and that, isn't it? Wall lights are very important. Um, I'm not sure what style I'm going to go with. Yeah. And then, of course, yeah, maybe a centre light at some point. Yeah. And then every single wall will have a double plug. So double plug, double plug, double plug, double plug, you double plug. Never, you can never have too many double plugs. No, double plugs literally everywhere. Yeah. Um, and so far, I think that's it. Apart from the internet and that coming down from upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a fire alarm system as well. Yeah, exactly. Fire alarm system, we're adding that. They will also have a siren. There'll be one, um, a, well, it's like a fire alarm detector in yeah. the room on the ceiling. Yeah. And then there will be maybe some, um, the small red activators yeah. you know, that you can break the glass. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to do yeah. it anyway, so. Yeah, brilliant. It's worth doing. And then, um, yeah, that's all it has to say. Apart from, I was originally going to put the sink over there in that window, mm. but I've realised it's probably the worst view of the entire room. That's the best one, isn't it? The best view of the entire room is this window here. Um, I mean, when you look out, it's fantastic. You can yeah. see the spire, you okay. know, you can see the main gate. Yeah, it looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the dishes here. <laughs> Me marigolds on. <laughs> so yeah, the sink may go here. Yeah. Um, it's still pretty flexible though, the, yeah. the, the layer, isn't it? It is, yeah. Range cooker possibly here. Yeah. So when you walk in the room, it's not sort of all in your face. Yeah. But the only thing I don't want is like a dinky little kitchen. Yeah, it looks like it's shoe old in a corner. All pushed into a corner, yeah. yeah. No. So we need to spread everything out. And yeah. I'm not going with the triangle method and all that nonsense. This, we can't do that in a room like this. No. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got planned so far. But as always, things change. Yeah. 
have to yep. work with what you got and adjust as you go along. Exactly. Whatever's best. Exactly, mate. So that's it for today. It's four o'clock. Brilliant. Time to go home. Thanks a lot for your help. Appreciate no it as always. Yep. Empty your pockets. Come on. I think I'm empty, sir. <laughs> really? <laughs> Only one pencil today. <laughs> right. Yep. Thank you everyone for watching this video today. I thought I'd give you a small tour of the basement because I noticed in the comments a lot of people were asking, so of course I obliged. Um, it's not too bad down there with the lights on. However, with no lights and just your phone as a light, it's, uh, it's a bit spooky. So yeah, it's fantastic that Sean is almost finished with most of the stud work now. It means, it means we can move on with the electrics plumbing, insulation, plasterboard, and then start the ceiling. So yeah, should start coming together pretty quickly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.